Hello loyal minions and welcome to the final mmm. As a special treat we are on location today across the street from the very special Gaman's Chinese Theater in California. I was so excited to do my last episode I up and decided the blow off finals come to California and maybe I'll be forced to hang around with you guys another semester. Don't worry, I know what you guys are thinking and I brought the desk with me. Check out some of the pics from our trip out here while I tell you a bit about it and then we can head inside. First off, getting through airport security with the desk wasn't too fun, but once we got here, we had all sorts of fun. And I got to meet so many famous people. I got into a fight with Brad Pitt, danced with Uma Thurman, and I even got to leave my own impression in the sidewalk outside of the theater. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed those, and as you can see, I set up shop inside my theater, so why don't we go ahead and get started. In this, the final episode, we will discuss the movies coming up through Christmas. This week on the 17th, we have three national releases in Tron Legacy, Family Movie Yogi Bear, and How Do You Know, the latest movie from one James L. Brooks of Simpsons fame. The first movie up is the much-anticipated sequel, Tron Legacy. This is the follow-up to the 1982 cult classic Tron. This is seriously probably the cultiest cult classic there is. It's been 20 years since the plot of the original Tron in this sequel, and let me tell you, they have upgraded everything in this movie. After suffering through the original Tron, I can tell you what the Tron folks were working on while the cameras were off 20 years. The signature Tron uniforms. I mean seriously, they are so much more sleek and stylish now, really conform to your body so you get that cool, sleek, glow-in-the-dark bobsledder look. Along with the upgrades in spandex quality comes a boost in the special effects. Seriously, the first one looked like it was shot with a handheld and a green sheet. I love good eye candy, so I'm going to be sure to check this one out. Our next movie up is Yogi Bear the family-friendly film from Warner Brothers. This movie follows along the lines of Alvin and the Chipmunks and Garfield by bringing a cartoon character to life with CGI in the human world. This 80-minute gem is barely long enough to be considered anything better than an extended episode of the once-beloved cartoon. Seriously, I've taken dumps that were longer, and probably more entertaining. Plus, I don't force you to pay $10.50 to watch. For my fans, a $4 matinee special. Third movie we have up is How Do You Know, which makes us beg the question, so blatantly spelled out in the title and trailer, how do you know when you're in love? I've always said, it's if she wakes up and doesn't scream. This film is about a female athlete who feels past her prime at age 27, played by Witherspoon, who is questioning her love life with fellow athlete Owen Wilson, and is trying to figure out if he's the one. First off, everyone knows Keanu Reeves is the one. And second, past her prime at 27, really, even for athletes, that's pushing the limits there, Hollywood. The film's budget was reportedly $125 million, with the studio dishing out $50 million for the star-studded cast alone. I doubt this movie is going to be a bomb, but I don't see it coming up very much in the black. That's all we have for you this week. We'll finish up by looking ahead to Christmas weekend with the releases of Little Fockers and Gulliver's Travels. First one up is Little Fockers. Remember the days when Robert De Niro made serious movies? Yeah, neither do I. I don't think I was born yet. But... I can tell you, if anybody's excited about the third installment in the Fokker franchise, it's Terry Polo. Don't know who that is? Well, it's her. And she's pumped for the paycheck, I'm sure. This is her only solid role, so please help Terry out and check out this movie. Plus, it's got Ben Stiller sticking a needle in Robert De Niro's dick. What other reason do you need to see a movie? Our second movie up is Gulliver's Travel, starring Jack Black. I'm getting a big, uh, I'm getting a big Land of the Lost meets Night at the Museum vibe here when I see this trailer. Which isn't a good thing, you feral fanatics. Save your money, I'll tell you how this movie is going to go. You'll get some fat jokes about black, especially since everyone is tiny, a la Night at the Museum. Then there'll be some sort of singing, guitar playing, Jack will dance like the happy idiot that he is, can't believe he's getting millions of dollars to make these movies. Kick his leg, do some scat singing, it's gotta be bop, beep, bop, bop, you know, the same shtick, you know, and he'll call it a day. How do I know this? Because, well, that's every Jack Black movie ever. That's all we have for you this week and, well, probably forever. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I did making this. Um, be sure to come out for our pub crawl tomorrow night, Thursday, the 16th, I believe it is. Am I right? Someone give me a thumbs up if I'm right, 16th. All right, good, 16th, and I will see you on the other side. Check out Facebook for updates on the bar crawl, by the way. See you later. Goodbye. I'm not, I've never been good at goodbyes. I always just ramble on and on until people get uncomfortable and just leave me.